hello friends welcome to this video and in this video we are going to continue our tutorial on the open cv so in my previous video we have learned about the basics of the open cv in that video we have learned how to read an image how to save it how to display it so if you haven't watched my previous video then please click on that i button in the top right corner and you can see that video if you've already familiar with those basics then you can please continue watching this video and before watching this video then watching this video please hit the subscribe button to get my latest videos and if you don't want to subscribe then it's okay you can continue watching my videos so in this video we are going to draw shapes on a blank image or any kind of image <coughs> like rectangle circle line and some other polygons so let's start with our coding first of all we will import our libraries first of all numpy then the cv2 and then we are going to print the version and i am using python 3.5 cv2 dot version it's always a nice thing to display the version first so that you, you the people who are watching the video can see which version of cv2 i am using so it's 3.3.0 now first of all we start by drawing a line and before drawing it we need to set up a blank image and then display it and then we will draw our line so a blank image using numpy so it's going to be black image because we are filling it with zeros size 500 by 500 and three channels blank image then display the image okay so to display we'll use i am show the window name image and the blank image and then key is equals to cv2 dot wait key so here user we are going to wait for the key and if the key is equals to q or we can say it's quit if user press q then destroy all the destroy all windows So I think we are ready for our basic template. So you can see a blank image, 500 by 500 in di dimensions. And I will press Q, and it will automatically quit the window or destroy the window. We can also save the image, and for that we can use CV2. I'm right. And later we can s we will save the image. We will see. So first of all, we will draw a line a simple line if what the function need is the image the blank template or any other image and the starting and the ending coordinate and a uh, color value and the thickness of the line cv2 dot line first of all it requires an image second the starting coordinate from where you want to start the line i will specify it 0 comma 0 that is the top left corner the beginning pixel of the image and next is the ending co coordinates where you want to finish the line or till where you want to draw that line so this line is going to be in the starting coordinate and the ending coordinate so let's specify the, the the last pixel the very last pixel of the image 500 by 500 and the next is the color of the image 255 0 0 and it's going to be blue and then the thickness of the image like if i specify one so it's going to be of thickness one and now we will see you can see a blue line of one thickness I will quit and increase the thickness a, a little bit and give the pixel thickness by two pixels now you can see a nice blue line from starting top left corner to the bottom right corner so that's how you will draw a line simple line you can change it starting and ending code in according to a choice next we are going to draw a rectangle 
rectangle or you can say square so basically it just a four a polygon with four sides generally we call it rectangle only but you can make square also rectangle so it also needs an image and then now here it needs the top left not the top left the top left the starting point of drawing a rectangle like see here if this is the starting point we specify then it's going to draw a line like this then this and then this so just imagine uh, this is the diagonal of the rectangle we want to draw a diagonal like this so this is going to be the diagonal of the rectangle so this is the starting point and this is the ending point of the we need to specify like sp i specify 0 comma 0 here and now the ending coordinate the last point okay now we have defined the last coordinate now we will specify color and the thickness so these are all the things you require to make a rectangle first is image the starting point coordinate the ending point co coordinate the color and the thickness of the rectangle oh, first I need to quit it so you can see a rectangle with green color and this is the its diagonal you can also fill it with the color the color you specify like if instead of minus 3 or any thickness value you just specify minus 1 here so you can choose the rectangle area will automatically be filled by that color but we just want a thickness so you can see a rectangle of thickness 5 so that's how you draw a rectangle the next is a circle so simple cb2 dot circle it also needs an image first then it needs the center point of the circle as the coordinate like the center of our 500 by 500 is 250 by 250 okay so this is its what we say the center point the next we need to give here is the radius value so if I just specify 100 here now let's specify 100 later we can change it now a, a color value let's say red value and the same thing the, the thickness of the border or you want to fill the color like if fill minus 1 or the thickness now we'll see the effect so you can see a circle absolutely at the center you can increase its size like this now you can see a bigger circle and next we are going to move on drawing an ellipse cv2 dot e l l i p s ellipse first of all it need a blank image it also need the center coordinate let's specify 250 here also the next it require the axis length first it needs the major axis length and then the minor axis length first I will show you and then you will automatically understand let's specify 150 ok here the next this value represent the angle of rotation and this is the starting angle and that's the ending angle oh it should be 360 otherwise it will make a, a, a ellipse with with an angle of 260 only I specify 360 so it will be complete 360 degree next the color 
and next again the thickness value like specify 3 so you can see an ellipse again now I will change the value slightly and you will notice the changes okay now if I just change this value to 100 you can see the change the minor now you can see the 100 a full circle now it's we cannot call it an ellipse because the both the major and the minor axis value are given same now again if we change this to 50 so you can see the major is like this and minor axis is this from the center point toward this okay now this is the angle now it will specify it 30 changes a little slightly so you can see it rotates now if you just want to draw an half ellipse so this is the starting angle and this is the ending angle you can specify so you can see a half ellipse it's better if we just fill it with color and ellipse it will look nice and you can completely see now you can see in half ellipse if I just change it to zero and you can see ellipse specify 90 here and see. so you can see how you can ma manipulate these values and make a different ellipse with different major axis minor axis different angle of rotation let me change the value back to original again zero so that's how you draw an ellipse the next which we'll draw is a polygon so polygon is basically a shape with more than two sides so we can say triangle rectangle and are polygon and here we are going to draw a rectangle you can draw a polygon with any shape but for example for simplicity we are going to draw the rectangle so for drawing a polygon we just we first need the points how many points how many sides we want to have with that polygon our values are uh, 3 so we will make a triangle so first point is going to be our center of the image 250 by 250 then the next point is going to be in the bottom left so the bottom left x axis is 20 and the y axis is 480 let's say 480 because in an image the starting coordinate is 0, 0.00 start from the top left and in the no normal real life we just started from the bottom left so that's a minor change and it, it just create a little confusion but don't worry when you see it it will not create confusion and the next point is going to be in the bottom right 480 let's say 480 so these are the three points now we are going to manipulate its shape minus 1, 1 and 2 so just a slight change now the polyline functions so first the image and then the points ok then now we'll first we will set this value true and I will tell you why I have set this true the color and again the thickness now we will see the changes so you can see a triangle so this is a 250 by 250 this is 20 x 20 here now you can see if you just is 0 x axis like this and it is 0 then this is 20 and y is 0 from here and if you just go down then this is 480 and like here this 480 by 480 and a triangle now same by uh, for the thickness if you just specify 
minus 1 here then ok we cannot specify minus 1 we can only give thicknesses so this is the third function third argument on the function if we just specify it false specifying false means that we are only going to draw a line connecting all, all points these three points it will connect this point to this point this point to this coordinate but it does not connect the starting and the ending points so it does not form a close it just form a line the not a close shape see a close shape is not formed because it hasn't joined the starting point coordinates and the ending point coordinate if we just let it be true then you can see again a closed shape is formed which is a triangle so that's how you make a polygon so you can specify more points here and mm, rest need not to be changed just increase the number of points here you just want to four let them four points and next is adding a text on an image simple text is not audible so first of all define the font cv2 dot hard share simplex cv2 dot put text spelling mistake spelling mistake are the most common because these occur due to typing one word here and one word here or, or caps lock open cv so this is the text we are going to display and here is the starting point from where we want to start displaying that text like from x axis to 10 and y axis to 480 some bottom left corner is the font and the color to a white color to then cv2 dot so now we will see cv2 has no i think i have some mistake here let me check it cv2 dot cv2 has no attribute so there is a problem here with this i think font hash in simplex let me just pause it here and again come so this is there is spelling mistake here and i just uh, corrected it now we will run this function and as you can see open cv in the bottom of the image printed written so these are some of the basic functions basic drawing functions like line rectangle circle ellipse polygon and text so basically we have covered all the basic functions drawing functions and now we can also save this image by a little change in the code If I press S, then please save the image. Draw dot PNG image and destroy all windows. Press S and the image is saved. Oh, that's not the big. You can see in the image with all the our functions in it circle di di a diagonal line a rectangle it's not a rectangle technically it's a square a rectangle polygon so that's all for this video i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friend like this video and enjoy writing codes thank you have a nice day